Chapter 7 Developing Mobile Apps Hi Techie I really enjoyed the last sessions on the introduction to mobile applications That's wonderful my dear Today's session is the extension of the previous one This time we are going to learn the ways we can install apps and even develop them I am keen to start this session then So today we will implement the knowledge gathered from the last session for the development of new mobile apps. Let's get started. Installing an app from Google Play Store. There are many apps available in Google Play Store. Some apps are available for free while other must be purchased from Play Store. If you want to use an app on your mobile device, then it must be downloaded from Play Store. To download any app from Play Store, follow the given steps. First, tap on the Play Store icon on screen. Second, type the name of the app Duolingo you want to install in the search box. Third, tap on the app you want to install. Fourth, tap on the install option. Download and installing process starts. The icon of the app appears on the screen. Removing an app It is suggested to remove an app when you no longer need it because every app we install takes some of device's memory space. To remove an app from our device, follow the given steps. First, tap the setting icon on your mobile screen. Second, tap on apps icon. Third, tap on manage apps option. Fourth, select the apps icon by tapping it. Fifth, tap on uninstall icon. The app will be removed from your smartphone. Developing an app. There are many open source app development software available. They help us to develop an app. While developing an app, we should keep some points in mind. The idea of developing an app should be unique. The app we are going to develop should contain all the relevant features. The app should be user friendly. Let us create a mobile app with the help of a freeware software provided by Google called App Inventor. With the help of App Inventor, we can create apps. App Inventor. App Inventor is a free app development tool provided by Google. With the help of App Inventor, we can create apps for smartphone. The working of App Inventor is similar to Scratch programming language in which we drag and drop blocks for making an app. App Inventor has two basic views. A, the design view. This view contains all the components required to design an application. B, the block editor view. This view is the place where we combine blocks to execute an application. Setting up App Inventor. For setting up the App Inventor, we should have a Gmail account. To create an app using App Inventor, follow the given steps. First, type URL appinventor.mit.edu and press enter key second click on create apps button third type your user gmail username and password fourth click on next button fifth click on i accept the terms of service button sixth click on continue to create an app seventh click on start new project button to start your first project eighth Type the name for your project in the project name box. Ninth, click on OK button. The project designer window appears. It is divided into four panes. Palette pane. On the left, there is a palette pane from where we can select components like buttons, images, and other functions required for our app. View pane. To the right of the palette is the white area where we can view and arrange added components. Components pane. This pane shows a list of all the components added to the screen in a hierarchical view. Properties pane. When we click on a component in the viewer, we see its properties listed here. Properties of the components can be changed from here. Creating a talking app. In the project designer window, we will design the interface by choosing buttons, images, or text boxes, and specify the functionalities of our app. We are going to create a simple talking app by following the given steps. Adding a button. Drag and drop a button from the palette pane to the view pane. Testing the app. App Inventor allows us to test our app while creating, 
So to test your app, connect your Android device and download MI A12 Companion. Now follow the given steps. First, click on Connect menu. Second, AI Companion from the drop-down list. Third, open MIT A12 Companion on your device. Connect by scanning the QR code or type the code displayed on your screen. Make sure your device and computer are connected to the wireless network to perform these steps. If you do not have any Android device, you can download emulator on your computer which works just like an Android device but works on the computer. The commonly used Android emulators are Android Studio, LD Player, Make Your Own, etc. Rename the button. In the components pane, button is displayed as button 1. You can rename it. To rename a button, follow the steps given below. First, click on Rename button. Second, type the new name for the component. In this example, we have given the Talking Me. Third, click on OK button. App will be visible on connected device. The new name for the button will appear in the component pane, but in the view pane, button still has the name text for button 1 displayed on it. Change the display name of button. To change the display name, follow the given steps. First, click on the button in the view pane. Second, type a new name for button in the text box. In this example, we have changed it to click to talk, adding a text to speech component. From the palette pane, open media drawer and click and drag text to speech component to view pane. This component will not appear in the view pane because it will drop under non-visible components that will show up on the app's user interface. You can still find it in Component pane and Properties pane. Block Editor This is the place where we code the components added in the design window and instruct them the actions to be performed by them. Following are the main parts of the Block Editor. Built-in Blocks it contains all the predefined blocks in the application. They are responsible for handling operations like math, text, logic and control. Component blocks. It contains relevant blocks for the components we have added in the design window. Workspace. It arranges all the blocks for coding in the workspace. Trash. It is used for deleting blocks that are not required. Backpack. It stores the copy of all the blocks even when we exit App Inventor. Making click event for button. First, click on button Talking Me. Second, drag and drop when talking me. Click Do Block and drag and drop it to Workspace. This is an event handler block that will handle what happens when the button on your app is clicked. Program the text to speech action. First, Click on text to speech block. Second, click and hold the call text to speech 1 speak block. Third, drag it over to the workspace and drop it over the button click block. This block will execute when the button on our app is clicked and make our phone speak. Enter message in the text block. First, click on text component. Second, drag and drop message block on call text to speech 1 message block. Third, type the message within the message block. Test your app. To test your app, go to the connected device or emulator and click on the button. Your phone will read the phrase aloud. Keep the volume of your phone or laptop high. 